Let them pray together. That they may be associated in peace. Johnny Appleseed probably never made it this far west, but his legacy of planting apple trees did. There are nearly 50 apple trees in the preserve. Apple trees provide food cover and resting space for many creatures. Johnny Appleseed's dream was for a land where apple trees were prolific and no one was hungry. So when they ripen, help it yourself to one of those old varieties of apples. Keep me as is the apple of your eye when I awake. I will be filled with the sign of your glory. O oh God, you make us prosper, and our earth shall yield its fruit. Justice shall walk before you, and peace shall follow your steps. I would like to offer Christians a few suggestions for an ecological spirituality grounded in the convictions of our faith. Since the teachings of the Gospels have direct consequences for our way of thinking, feeling, and living, more than in ideas or concepts as such, I am interested in how such a spirituality can motivate us to a more compassionate concern for the protection of our world. From all that dwell below the skies, let the Creator's praise arise. Let the Redeemer's name be sung through every land and every tongue. And for Station 12, as tradition, we have apples. So if you would like to take one for your walk, you're welcome to do so. So I will just send the bag around. You may grab one. We have to sing 